Hey all you rock crawlers, overlanders, and off-roaders out there. This is George, and today I'm gonna to show you these products that I picked up from Factor 55. And so what I got from them is their Flat Link E-Expert and their Rope Guard that I wanna put onto my rock crawler here. And so, um, you know, I've got this nice synthetic winch line that a buddy got me, a buddy got for me, and uh, it's already getting torn up at least on the sheath from, you know, all the banging up, you know, that I'm doing when I'm out there rock crawling in Johnson Valley and uh, doing the Rubicon and things like that, that you would encounter too. And so by getting, um, you know, these things, what I'm hoping to do is get it all up here and not dangling and really just make my rope last a lot longer and be easy to get to um, when I need to get it. So it really protects that rope investment that my buddy got me. So I'll go over that with you. So here's the flat link out of the package along with the rope guard. So yeah, when you open it up, you get the cool stickers from Factor 55 and you get the instructions. And um, this piece is just a work of art. I mean, you could just see the, the quality coating that they put on this thing just to protect it from the elements and, you know, us banging it up off-road and dragging it across the road when we're, you know, off-roading. So um, it's got these rubber pads on both sides. And we're going to end up removing some of those rubber pads so that we can put this rope guard on here. And then that just protects, you know, the rope on this side that might be sticking out, you know, when it's up, you know, up on the, uh, on the fair lead right there. And as you can see, you know, that this flat link, it's got nice big old entry point to put on your soft shackle or for example, your shackle right there. So lots of room, quality made piece. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and uh, cut off this right here, because unfortunately I can't pull a pin. I'm gonna have to actually get a cutter, cut that off and then do the install. And when I get back to you in a minute, I think I'll be able to show it to you on there and what it looks like. Okay, so next what I ended up having to do was get the cutoff wheel to basically cut this piece out of it just so I can slide this out. Now, normally on a lot of hooks, there's just a pin that you pull that allows you to slide this out. Um, unfortunately, I had to use the uh, trusty cutoff wheel to be able to do that. I ended up putting a wet t-shirt over this um, to protect it from the sparks and things like that. So obviously now you can use wet t-shirts for other things that are exciting. So the next step was to take this C-clip out of here with these uh, little C-clip pliers. And uh, that allows you then to slide this piece out so that you can obviously, you know, put the, the rope inside of here. And then we're gonna end up taking these pieces off so that we can put this piece on here and then use these little uh, rivets that you kind of tap in with a hammer to, um, you know, finalize that and protect the rope. So we basically end up getting our end, putting it in here, getting these pieces on top and all the little rivets. So I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. All right, so I got the rope end in there. I got that little C-clip definitely locked into its little channel. And now the rope guard, after I remove the little pads, can go on just like that. You can see it doesn't hinder the rope from being able to turn or anything like that. You got the little rivets and they just go into their little hole like that. And then they gotta get pounded in. And uh, I'll show you what it's like after I get it pounded in. Now, before I actually pound it in, what I wanted to do is show you how I put these little rivets in here. And I put these in by hand. So I kind of had to wiggle them a little bit, but you gotta make sure that they sit flat, flush. You know, because sometimes it'll feel, it'll feel like it's in, but it's not in. You got to get it all the way in before you drive this pin in there that locks it down. All right. All right. So I got that rope guard on. Uh, wasn't very hard to do at all. Um, I will tell you this. Always read and follow the instructions. I got a little bit ahead of myself. And so the one recommendation I'm going to tell you is if you follow the instructions, you will install the rope guard without the rope already on there. You want to install the rope later. The other thing that you really want to pay attention to is that this opening that you see right here is on this side and that you don't accidentally install this rope guard 
180 degrees backwards because after you got these little rivets on here you're going to really regret that anyways it's all put together looks really awesome and as you can see here i got plenty of room to install a nice beefy shackle or the you know one of these soft shackles too so i've got lots of room to be able to do that it's going to make it um, you know easy to do when i'm out in the dirt trying to pull a buddy out trying to pull myself out that all of this stuff is super easy to use so um, next i'm going to show you what it looks like when it's fully uh, reeled back into the winch and uh, the final okay. so i got it all installed and i can't wait to show you a little sneak peek at this factor 55 pulley for synthetic ropes which has got these little things right here to uh, keep the rope installed anyways here we go there it is all installed you know it's something amazing when something is really great looking but at the same time incredibly functional and durable so i don't have my rope dangling down here anymore you know where it's just getting snagged on everything and i'm just nice and tucked up nice and clean and flat just absolutely awesome stuff from factor 55 so i bought all this stuff this is something where i forked out all my own money this stuff's not cheap but i gotta tell you i think it's worth every penny and i'm gonna have a much better time off-roading so i hope you guys can watch this video and uh, i did post some links if you guys are interested in buying this stuff uh for yourselves and get to enjoy it